out tomorrow. All right, let's get to Rebecca Stevenson from her home to talk about the weather forecast. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Mark. Yes, we've had some pouring down rain. If maybe you got caught in one of those very heavy showers, it was intense. The rain was so loud, it was as if it was slamming into the windows and on the roof. And I can show you all this action. First, let's go outside. Lake Stevens, our school net station in a loop, can show how soggy and sopping wet the day has been once we got into the afternoon around Everett. Over to Lake Stevens. This is where we have a flood advisory right now until 1115 for urban and small stream uh, potential flooding and some poor drainage areas. It includes Redmond, Kirkland, Bellevue, Woodenville, Cottage Lake. The storm reports, they started out, it's just mainly showers today, but then we saw some heavy showers moving up Silverdale, Paulsbo, Everett, and then we started getting the hail. Here is a 6.30 p.m. round of hail that was starting out in between Muckleteo and Everett. Several people were included in that. 7.30 p.m. Intense rain band had stretched down to Seattle, West Seattle, into Magnolia and parts of uh, eastern Washington towards the Mount Baker neighborhood almost had some of that very heavy rainfall. But you can see now our focused area of where the rainfall is most intense is all up between Seattle and Everett. Excuse me, this is where we call the convergent zone typical area where we'll have winds wrap around the Olympics and meet up right over Paulsbo. You can see where the moderate rain is still impacting you. Also for Silverdale, Redmond, and over towards Monroe, a heavy shower. Now we've got most of the intense rainfall moving east of Granite Falls and just east of Oso. But boy, that rain was so heavy, it brought a fast third of an inch total into Everett. We've had temperatures cool down dramatically. In fact, we saw as many spots fall down to the upper 40s around Everett and also near Bellevue, but now you've rebounded back to 50 degrees for Everett. Your overnight low will be 48 degrees in Everett and also Seattle, 47 degrees for Tacoma overnight. Looking at the radar, notice that counterclockwise spin. Yeah, that's that big area of low pressure that's moving right over us tonight. And as it goes eastward, it's going to take most of the rain showers with it. So we're expecting Sunday to gradually dry out a little bit more through the day. It'll still be cool, but we've got high pressure building in to give us a little bit more in the way of sunshine. High resolution model shows at 5 a.m. Most of the showers will be moving into the Cascades. Definitely the case by Sunday three afternoon around 3 p.m. So it'll be cooler than normal normal tomorrow. High of 64 for Seattle. We'll expect a few showers early in the morning. May still have a bit of that convergence zone set up between Seattle and Everett. And that'll be the focus of some showers, but they're going to get out of here and we're going to see some sun for our Sunday. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s and then going to Monday rain Monday morning, a cool day changing to showers that taper off Tuesday and then some relief. Mark, we're going to go into some summer Summer weather before summer. Summer seven days away. Well, we'll start summer on Wednesday, soaring into the 70s and 80s through oh the end of our goodness. week. The plants are going to love it. <laughs> Rebecca, thank you.